me da mucho gusto uh, hablar con ustedes este día. Uh, me da mucho gusto hablar acá también con el señor Germán uh, Hernández, que hermano, uh, te doy las gracias por esta entrevista y esta oportunidad. Uh, que Dios te bendiga y te cuide y a todos ustedes presentes a ver si le ten, te, esta entrevista tiene valor para ustedes. One thing I remember about George is that he was a man with a big heart. He always gave the opportunity to people that others would close the doors on. Uh, his generosity, I think uh, his friendship. Um, he can be compelling, pushy, and at the same time, he was always cheerful and charming. He never shied away from risks. His famous words were, if you're not making mistakes, you're not doing anything right. He had a very, very lovely heart and very full of joy, and he loved dancing. Let's go in there dancing. Let's start dancing. So it's like we went from bar to bar, da dancing. <laughs> Uh, my birthday is uh, Cinco de Mayo, and when George found out, and I, I dressed up in some uh, a Walmart hat and something like that, he says, you, that's, not, that's not fitting. He had a formal uh, Mexican outfit with all the silver tailor-made, and he presented it to me, and I, I wear it every Cinco de Mayo. That man could dance the night away and he'd be the last person out there in the, on the floor. George was always a good uh, dancer. He went to Mexico and he'd have a wonderful time, but then when he came back, he would take a whole month where he would sober up, so. <laughs> he was a social worker in his younger times with, um, uh, in Santa Rosa. Well, I was a social worker. He formed the uh, Latinos Unidos. And that was uh, started to provide uh, scholarships for Latinos. The first five uh, recipients uh, went on to college. We both believed that life could be better for farm workers and that we were going to do whatever possible to, to make sure that that happened. And he started it uh, with um two friends, a priest, and he, uh, so 55 years of working for farm workers to have better lives. And that is actually what motivated me to come out of retirement on advocating for the rights of farm workers. I've worked with farm workers, again, 20 states and 20 countries, and to be able to do this in California, where I'm from, uh, it was, just seemed like a great opportunity and actually a great privilege. I remember George being someone that never took no for an answer. He would not take no for an answer. I saw the value that they provided the services, and so I was able to provide some funding for him. California Human Development became one of the largest nonprofits in, in the county. My parents were farm workers, and so that's something I always remember about George. He never forgot about where he came from. And it was his strong commitment, his value, never forgot where he came from. He always wanted to help the raza. He was able to bring together different groups of people in order to accomplish a certain goal. That's the legacy that George has left us, that no one should be left behind. Everyone should be given the opportunity, should have a door open. To be honest with you, I really had very little education. And when he gave me that opportunity, it was like, Oh my God, wow, you know, he believes in me. The Athena House, which was a haven for uh, mothers, single mothers that uh, had no, no place to go. For more than 25 years, George has been Santa Claus at Athena House. I would always get a, uh, around Christmas time, a uh, postcard. And that postcard was, didn't have any name on there and it was sort of from Mexico. Where did these cards come from? And I never found out until it came up in one of our meetings that it was him that was sending those postcards. We continue our mission, we continue working with families that greatly need us. Muchas gracias, Señor Ortiz, por toda su dedicación aquí, su, su amor para la comunidad, y lo extraño mucho. Because you have made Sonoma County, California, and I would dare to say the entire country a better place.
This is from um, Mexico, the one back here. This is the Golden Aztec Award up here. But that prayer I love, and so I'm proud of him, you can tell. <laughs> I wake up every morning and I wish George were here. I mean, it's very hard. Mornings were our time. He used to put a flower on the table and start the coffee and everything. And then <laughs> I feel his love with me every day. And I feel very special that a man of that caliber loves me so much. <laughs> And I was staying what was called then a residence club, which is really a boarding house, but they had a different name for it then. And uh, he was going to Hastings Law School. And um, a, a lot of the students there um, were renting rooms at this, uh, at this boarding house. And that's how we met, really. My view of him is so perfect and so high quality as a leader in the community, community and as a father. Well, he is one of these people that when you walk in a room, you, you notice him. Let's put it that way. He's very outgoing. You know, I went to Ursuline and the father-daughter dinner dance. And it almost like embarrassed me because he was so fun and he knew all the other dads. We danced a lot. We, this was at a party. Our trips to Mexico were really special as a family. One-on-one, -on -one, together at the table, um, talking, having deep conversations. That was his happy place. When he was a social worker, they assigned him the uh, Hispanic clients, you know. And, oh, they became like family to him being a migrant farm worker and not really having a place to sleep at night and how that was his dream was to um, create housing. And he was a good father and he was a, basically a good guy, a good man. And so I would have been crazy not to have supported him. Going in the fields and making sure the farm workers are being treated properly and getting a fair wage. When Jerry found George, it was a match made in heaven. I knew as a child, Cesar Chavez was like the leader of this movement. I felt like honored that my dad was even friends with him. Our family was being threatened um, by people who were against it. I mean, I was almost like a single mother because he was gone so much. But, but when I saw how emotionally evolved he was, I knew how much it meant to him. I didn't realize that not all girls had a dad like I did, and how special our relationship was. I'm very proud of him. I think he did a good job, and I personally think he was an exceptional person myself. And it was the happiest I know I'd ever been in my life. That his legacy and his spirit lives inside all of us, and we all can make a difference if we really focus and um, I just feel like his legacy is going to live on forever, and I'm very proud. To receive the Puente y Ganas Campeón Award, please welcome Carol Ortiz and her family to the stage. Para recibir el reconocimiento Campeón de Puente y Ganas, recibamos a Carol Ortiz y su familia.